We're back with Mark Burnett and Roma Downey, and I'm talking with them over their newest project, The Bible, a five-part series premiering this spring. You guys have such a fascinating story. Mark, you came uh, to America 22. You had about $600 in your pocket, your book tells us. You worked two years as a nanny, and you learned from your employers you needed to own something. So you got a $1,500 stretch of fence, Venice Beach, sold T-shirts. Boom, 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 get into Eco Challenge. The wonder of Google. I've got a printout now of how much is in your pocket. I don't know if you're exhausted or thrilled from this ride. I've got nothing in my pocket because it leaves me here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah, but, hey, it's... It, listen, there's nothing special about me, that's for sure. Um, apart from taking some I risks. I disagree. I think yeah. 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 Just from taking some risks, you know. Many people have ideas. Many people want to take action. Many people hear different kind of calls. If they're a believer, it's a call of God. If you're a non-believer, it's an instinctual call. You know, the question is who answers that, who goes forward, and who's willing to take the risks. Nobody likes to fail. But I've got news for you. If you're not willing to fail, you won't do anything. And that's all I've done. I want to take to that part of the story where Jesus interrupts a man's work. Take a look. Let's watch what you've done with Jesus and Peter. What do you think you're doing? We're going fishing. There are no fish out there this time of day. In fact, there are no fish out here any time of day. Peter, just give me an hour and I will give you a whole new life. Who says I want one? Mark, have you taken God into your work all along this fascinating career of yours? Well, certainly recently. Um, it's, you know, I've always believed in God. Um, have I taken him into my work all the time? No, not always consciously, you know, and it sometimes takes the right moment or time in life when you think about things a certain way. Um, and, but I, I've always um, been conscious about offending God. See, there's a little difference there sometimes when there's different ways to explain the Bible. One's kind of like telling you, don't do this, don't do that, and it's kind of threatening. I don't think it's the most helpful way. And another is from a loving way of here's why it's the most important story. I'm 52 now. I've gotten older. I can look at it differently in more of a loving God, less threatening way. And that's how I feel. Okay, we want to show what happens, how you conclude the story. Take a look. How did this happen? What did you do? I'm giving you the chance to change your life. and I will make you a fisher of men. What are we going to do? Change the world. You don't have any fears that Hollywood is going to vote you off the island for doing such a wonderfully <laughs> Christian production that you can hear the audience. <laughs> we do kind of... Is there like we would care? I mean, seriously. I mean, we're doing what we want to do. What, what matters, first of all, is doing the right thing. And second of all, trust me, if you're making great work, you're never short of people wanting you to make a production. And so, listen, if we never made another show, whatever, if we make another 20 shows, okay, it's meant to be, I can tell you something, we loved making the Bible. And you think loved more, making the Bible. You think more people are gonna watch the Bible than all your other projects combined? Oh yeah, by the time um, this goes out through um, North America and, um, and then out into the rest of the globe, I think that in years to come, when, when we are long gone, this will still be being played and touching people's lives, changing people's lives over and over. I mean, look, you look at that right there and the audience look at that. 
There's no way anyone in this room doesn't want to watch that now because they're realising we've humanised our story. It's not told from a distancing, lecturing point of view with one-dimensional characters. These are real people who really lived this and that's what you can see and feel from it. And we try to, you know, make it gritty and real and authentic and all of our casting too and the way that we've told the story so that you can find the place where you can relate to the characters, which is very important, I think, as Mark says, that we weren't preaching, that it didn't come across as something holy and distance, mm -hmm. that you could really appreciate the lives. This was a tough place that these people were living and Jesus arrived into very tough times economically politically, politically, and he came and he brought hope and redemption. What a wonderful gift you're rolling out. We're going to watch with interest. Roma Downey, Mark Burnett, thank you so much for being with Context. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. And when we come back, closing thoughts on the Bible and what it means that it just doesn't disappear. You are a king, then. You say that I am a king. I have been born and come into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. Truth? What is truth? For centuries, the stories of the Bible have woven all through our culture. The fact that they have not been extinguished is a clue for us to pay close attention. If you go to our website, you can find out how you can link onto the Bible series. There's lots of great clips like we've shown today. And you can find out what the Bible is and how to read it. We've got an ebook there that's a free gift to you from ourselves and the Canadian Bible Society. And all the links there on this Bible series, how to promote it, where to find it, when it airs all across the History Channel and other places. We can get you connected to that. So make your request at our website or Facebook. All the details on how to watch Roma Downey and Mark Burnett's The Bible on TV are at contextwithlorna.com. For all of us, thank you for watching and join us next week for a look at life beyond the headlines.